Hey, what's up, Blog of Fam, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesdays with me, Gio Kawachi. And guys, kamo sa kaila. Uh, hopefully, we started the week really well. So Monday has been great. Now it's Tuesday, and you know, every Tuesday we do this segment. It's called Tutorial Tuesday, where we learn new hobbies or things that we just want to feature in. Now for this episode, I'm really excited because we're going to feature something that I really, really love. I mean, like love doing and also like consuming, and that is alcohol. So we'll be talking about how to create cocktails and enhance our e Newman sessions. Or, syempre, ngayong dating na December, I'm sure madami na magkakaroon ng small Christmas parties or even gatherings, uh, family or ho holiday gatherings. So I'm pretty sure our tutorial Tuesday today would help us enhance those gatherings with a lot of uh, maybe I should say uh, exotic. No, wow, sobrang lala, sobrang tindi naman exotic. Well, I mean, interesting cocktails. And to help us with our cocktails, we have Miss Sef Aparante, who will actually teach us the basics of cocktail making, bartending, and maybe she could actually share us a few recipes that we could use for our party. So let's all welcome Miss Sef Aparante. All right. Hi, hi everyone. Hi, hi. Good Ms. afternoon Seth. from Cebu. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. Based from Cebu. Wow. Okay, I didn't know. Yes. Good afternoon, just, Cebu. Yes. Oh, okay, I just learned. Oh, so how's Cebu right now? Kamusta kayo dyan? Um, the weather is really good. It's sunny. I hope it doesn't rain because I'm outside right <laughs> now. <laughs> well, hopefully, and yes. Yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. Yes. I'll see my fingers. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, so now. Cebu's fine. We're good. Hanging. Great, great. That's good to know. Uh, wow, I can see na, na full setup ka pala ng uh, mocktails or cocktails today. Now, I'm really excited to learn more about those stuff later because, like, I, I'm not sure if you noticed, uh, but I'm wearing my favorite drinking shirt right now. Oh, can so you that's see your it? favorite drinking shirt. Yeah. I can, basically... I can see that there's a pattern on it right now. Yeah, it's basically lime and my favorite alcohol, which is oh. tequila. Oh, oh, there, there. Tequila. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a tequila fan, so I'm really excited for this episode. Hopefully, you've got some tequila, tequila recipes for me that I could <laughs> use for my inuman with my friends. Oh, that's um, that's only one of the few cocktails that I'm not making right now, but I can oh give you my the God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I mean, I'm more of a cocktail drinker, hard drinker. So I'm really open to trying and seeing whatever you're going to do today. But before we start oh, with making the cocktails, can you tell us a bit, how did you learn bartending or what got you into uh, bartending or making cocktails? Okay, so hi, guys. Um, first of all, I'm Seth Aparente. But you can call me Seth. I am based here in Cebu City and I'm a professional wedding photographer. So when the lockdown came, um, we couldn't do anything. We couldn't go out. We couldn't hang. And I was feeling a bit, okay, what should I do during the lockdown? And then I um, realized that I couldn't drink my favorite cocktails outside anymore because all the restaurants, all the bars are closed, and I don't know when it's gonna open. But I can't, yeah. I can't help myself but drink now. So I went to YouTube and then learned some recipes there online and then tried it to, and started to try it on my own. So that's how I started nice. with bartending. So yeah. So it basically started during the quarantine. So this is one of the, yes. I should say the hobbies or skill that you learned during the quarantine. Definitely. It's one of the things that I really was really having fun with during the quarantine. It helped me through my, let's say <laughs> depression stages to the yeah. months that we were yes. in lockdown. So yes, definitely. I learned it during quarantine. Yeah, it's nice not to have something, a new skill that you learned during the quarantine. I'm really happy that you did that. Uh, well, I'm excited to know what are the recipes. So far, uh, how many how, what, how many recipes do you have now? What would you say that you're actually really good at? Um, I would say I'm good at it because I've let my friends try it when they came over during the uh, the lifting of the lockdown. Yeah, that's And the three recipes that I am going to make right now are my three favorite recipes, which is okay. a Cosmopolitan. It's a vodka-based nice. drink. Um, a, uh, a mojito. Everybody loves a mojito. Yeah, mojito so is bomb. Oh, my God. <laughs> so it's a white from based drink. And also, my personal favorite and personal touch, an amaretto sour. So, amaretto sour. Yeah. Wow, nice. Yes. 
We're gonna make an hour as a start today. All right, great. Uh well, you know what? I what I realized the past or like noticed the past few months prior to quarantine, uh, the sour drinks like the whiskey sour and the amaretto sour, they're 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 kind of trending up. Uh. I mean, like before in sila Masyado na papansin, but now I think a lot yes, of people sure. are ordering it. Are preferring it actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I actually like I'm more of a whiskey sour person because I like the fruitiness in it. Yes. Um yeah. have you tried the New York sour? Because the, the whiskey sour has more of a citrus fe- uh, feel yes. towards it, right? Well the amaretto sour is quite sweet because of the amaretto that's grown up mm-hmm. with it. But the New York sour, if you're a fan of wine, um it incorporates red wine. So wow. uh, a twist on the regular whiskey sour is the New York sour. But that's Maybe in the next episode we'll we'll do that. Yeah, hopefully in our like tutorial Tuesdays, Inuman Part Two will we'll go deeper <laughs> on that one. But for now, maybe yes. we'll just stick with the basics. Now I can see that yeah, you have tons of uh, equipments there. Uh, can you show us or like tell us what are the basic equipments that you need for bartending? Because I actually I'll tell you later. I also have my own set here because oh. I'm trying to do that stuff. So, but yeah, go Let's- ahead. So um so during the quarantine period I realized that I really need a set of equipment to make my th- my my drink more fancy and more efficient in terms yes. of taste. So during my birthday last January uh, June I bought my own um cocktail set. So right. this is the cocktail set. I don't know if you can see it. I'll lift it up a bit. Okay, yeah, there we good. go. So that's this beautiful. is the set. Oh, thank you. It's in rose gold. Rose gold, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yes, um, basic equipment starts with your Boston shaker. So this is the Boston type shaker. Um, I don't know how big this is in terms of um, measurement, but this is a very standard shaker. Also, it comes with your Hawthorne strainer All right. and your standard strainer. It has differences, but usually um, I use the Hawthorne strainer because I don't, I, I like mints and those garnishes on my drink, so I don't mind having them on my drink. So I just okay. usually use the hot and strainer. And also, um, your bar spoon, which you're going to need. Your muddler. Um, right. This helps you squeeze in all the citrus, all the flavor inside your garnishes and blend it in your drink. Okay. Very important. And of course, you're very, <laughs> you're very handy jigger. So yeah, the jigger yeah. here is everything it measures everything that you need it helps you make the perfect drink so that's yeah. our bar set nice okay so in the in those bar sets you know what pag ako gumagawa ng drink i always take out the jigger in terms of alcohol type because uh-huh. yeah i'm like the type of person na sige pour mo lang gano ka lang as like yeah, yeah sige oh, okay lang. the stronger the better yeah okay, yeah so, so lang talaga okay yan eh very very diba? very and then i yeah. prefer it that way as well Exactly. So, guys, well, for some people, they prefer like sweet cocktails. Well, personally, my favorite is just the strong cocktails. You mga tipong pag inyo mo wala bang, so like blackout after a few shots, mga yun. Best Bakay drink ever. Bakit sa ano na lang bottle na lang iinumin mo? Yeah, well, minsan nga kayo, like, parang nagiging drop na lang yung mga other ingredients. Right, so, I'm excited to learn our new recipe. So, what's the first recipe that we're going to do, Miss F? Now yeah, we're going to start with the cosmopolitan. So all you need to do to prepare are four things. Very basic things. Your vodka. Any vodka would do. Okay. Right now we have an absolute. Absolute, I yes. prefer it because it has a key, uh, it has a clear flavor. And you can okay. mix it well with any other um, liquor as well. Um, next would be your cranberry. Um, all right. I prefer it to go over any other cranberry brand. Not paid by Tipco, but <laughs> actually that was my first. That was uh, that was supposed to be my second question. Are you sponsored by Tipco? <laughs> nah, I wish. <laughs> so they have Sweet. a really good cranberry flavor, yes, and it's not too it's not too sour, it's not too sweet. Just tapo lang talaga yung flavor niya. Yeah. So Tipco for your cranberry, um, your Quantro. Quantro, okay. Or you can also opt for a triple sack if you have it already. But now, what we have is a concert. And yeah. also... Miss Seb, I have a question. Yes. Wow. yes. Wait, so ahead, how do you ahead. pronounce that? I always, get, I always get confused with how you pronounce that. Is that contru or like contrao? Contru. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm always confused. I, I don't know. How, I just call it the, the orange thing. Eh. Yeah, yeah. I keep hearing... 
So the also so, but I keep hearing the the guy who who makes us the drinks that I um usually follow. He keeps on saying Konchu, so I think he's right, na man. So Kon- I'll follow is, what he says. Konchu is what? It's an orange liquor. Am I? Am I? Yeah, correct? it's an or... orange liquor. It's orange an orange liquor. liquor, and it also has an alcohol content of forty percent. Wow. So basically, okay. it's almost the same with your vodka. Okay. Next that is true. will be yes. Next would be your lime or lemon. Right now, I'm gonna use our lemon. It has different flavors, but for me, I prefer lemon this time because it actually blends well with the uh, poncho and the cranberry. So it depends on your preference, ha? But also, most common kasi yung lemon. So mas mabilis, uh, madali lang sa bilhin. Yes. Sa grocery exactly. stores, you can't get, you can't run out of it. So yeah, so those are the four things. And now we're gonna start with our lemon. So I didn't, um, I didn't measure the lemon na because I want okay. to slice it in front of you guys. So what we need is 40 uh, mils of your lemon. So half okay. of the lemon is, I, uh, sorry, 15 mils lang pala. So half of the lemon is actually 15 mils na. So what we, depends on the size, but the average size is actually 15 mils in average. So like what you said before, hindi ako sa nang particular on the amount of my lemon. Sa kanya naman alcohol eh, but yes, mine yeah, is. Alcohol. Let's go with alcohol. The lemon, I don't really mind having a bit of it, because having more than the usual, because it's healthy, naman, and I like yes. the citrus flavor. Balance as well with your vodka. So that's the fourth, fourth piece. And then the last piece, what I usually do is dunk it in your shaker, and then get your muddler, and then muddle it inside your drink. All right, that's interesting. What what do you call that technique? Does does it have a name? For Muddling. That Modeling, this okay. is mo- yeah, you model it. Not too, not too harsh then, because bitter na yung labas ng lemon. Afterwards, you get your vodka. You get 45 mils of your vodka. So usually you have your jigger with you, naman. To there, guide okay. you. But yeah. for for some people like me, jigger is not an option. So you just pour it. Yeah. There, pour it there, whatever you feel, de ba? Sabi nga ni Miss Dani, measure with your heart, di ba? Measure with your heart. Measure with your heart and your, ano, yes. your alcohol yeah. levels. Yes. So, yes. Diba? Puso, puso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, this time we're gonna get your cranberry. Same, cranberry. 45 mils. You can opt for 40. Depends on the seats that you like. But 45 is pako lang. Okay. Okay. Nice. And right after that, is your Contru. Contru, there we go. The so Contru right, is usually just 15 mils for me. So 15 mils right there. Okay. Miss F, milk is milliliters, right? Yes, milliliters. M- milliliters okay. are CC. So you call it CC okay. as well. CC. What so the- there we go. We have everything. We have four ingredients in our shaker. Now it's the fun part where we are going to take with your eyes. So be generous with your eyes. How much ice do you normally put? Ba? Like, is there a certain level for it? Like, do you have to fill up the cup or do you have like halfway long or just like four ice cubes? Depends on the size. Eh. For this one, I usually fill half long. If you have a smaller one, you can fill it full. But I like conti lang dahil syempre, I want the alcohol there. Yes. I want to visit. So now we're gonna shake it. Usually shake it using your um, left hand on the bottom if you're right-handed, and your right hand on top of it, just to okay. make sure that it won't pop out. It depends on how you want to shake it, but the goal is to have it shake like forward, backwards, para talagang nice. And the hard part is the shaking. Yeah, and if you can see, hindi ba sa mapapansin? There's a mist outside. Mm-hmm. Um, so when there's a mist outside your shaker, that means it's already cold. So, it's yeah. like the moist, diba? It's like the moist the, outside. Yeah. The yeah, moist outside. Like, there's like yung mga... Oh yeah. Anyway, the bus nag water siya, guys. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you can explain. Yeah, yung parang sa ref, pag meron na, pag cold ah, yeah. na, may mga moist. Yes. So you yes, get your uh, hot and strainer, and you hold it on top lang, and then you get your glass, and then you pour it in. Nice! Alright, so that's then, a very uh, easy the re- recipe, yeah. Yeah, the reason why you have to have exact measurements is because you want it to be perfectly filled in your glass. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's it. 
Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. One of the reasons Okay, so why. yung pala yun. Kaya kailangan may measure talaga. So, just for it to be perfect in the glass. Yes. Okay. For people, if you you are serving it in like a party, separate. Usually, it's just perfect lang. Para hindi sabihin ng ano, ay, konti lang yung nilagay mo. Hmm. Just yeah. perfect. Or, or tsambahan lang, di ba? Tama. At least meron siya parang, yes. what do you Consistency, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, consistency. Yes. And then, usually, you serve it this way. But ako, gusto ko medyo maging extra. So, if you have a marriage, <laughs> If you if you have a maraschino cherry, you can actually opt in putting your maraschino cherry, and then oh yes, uh, to make it a bit fancy, am I correct? A bit to fancy, make it a bit fancy, yeah. Yes. And it 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 it's really fun to eat once you're drinking it with your Cosmo. Yeah. And then there we go. Put it here on the side, and there you that have it. Your very own Cosmo palette. Nice. All right. Okay. Uh, is there a way that you can send us here from Cebu, like maybe a grab or something? Wow. Okay. So, so in kiti mo na kami niya, masamul na tayo. Wow. So niya masamul na tayo. My God. Okay. Nagigrave na tuloy ako. Wait. Bila ko nagigrave na tayo. Aga aga pa ng oras pa lang ba? Oh, it's never too late to day drink. I'm a fan of day drinking. My friends and I are day drink a lot whenever we have like. For me, yeah, that's true. Day drinking is fun. There's a mm-hmm. saying, uh, uh, it's a happy hour somewhere in the world right now. For sure. And it's never yes. too early to have a nice um, glass of wine or drink. So, yeah. yeah. A bottle. A bottle. Kaya yung that. Beer so <laughs> just, a bottle. Um, a bottle. Um, a bottle. <laughs> so, okay. We have it. That's, that's the first our one is cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, guys. That's a very easy recipe that you could actually use for your inuman. Now we're going to our second recipe, and I'm excited for it. Yeah. The second, second one is we're doing. Oh, I love this! I love this! I love this cocktail, mojito, right? It's a mojito, yes. Yes. So quickly, lang. I'm just gonna rinse this, right. and then no, I'll come back. Okay, okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. So since I only have one shaker, so we usually just have it rinse lang rinse. with water, and it's good now. So Speaking now we're it, gonna make the mojito, yeah. Yeah. Yes, there. I have a yeah. question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, with the what do you call this? The shaking that you did. Is there, do you, do you have any technique called that? I mean, sorry, mali yung sabi ko. May name ba yung technique na yun? Um, wala naman masadong names in terms of the shaking. Um, they they have it differently. Others do it like parang circular. Okay. Um, what I prefer lang is like the back and forth lang talaga. Because it really helps um, have those bubbles at the same time. It's like um, it's the drink inside, mm-hmm. and it really makes it swell. So that's the goal to be okay. able to not just be around it, but to be able to push everything back and forth to squeeze it all in one yeah. place. And if I'm not mistaken, the reason of the back and forth is because you want to have a complete break of the, I mean, like a balance of breaking of the ice, right? So you want them to hit yes. on the back and at the front side. Exactly. Kaya siya nagmi-miss kasi mabilis siyang nagbe-break that way. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. All right. At least we're going to move on to our second drink, which is our mojito. My personal favorite. I always order it in any bar so I find, especially in a tropical uh, bar, because I feel like it's really good drinking by the beach. Exactly. It's a beach drink. So it's a drink, drink that God. works with anywhere on the beach. So, yeah. Yes. So, I think um, what we only need for your mojito are five things. The first one is your mint leaves. Okay, nice. Hindi perfect fresh. yung mojito pag walang mint leaves. So fresh mint leaves Agree. work well. And then of course your rum. rum. So this this one is a white rum, Bacardi. Also, Are we you sponsored need your... by Bacardi? I wish. I wish, I wish. Yeah. Soon, soon, soon. Sana Sana soon. <laughs> and then your um, sugar syrup. So okay. sugar syrup, how it's made, very easy. It's one part sugar and one part water. It means that you can make it at home. Mm-hmm. So first boil your water and then dunk in a few uh, spoons of sugar, the same measurements with the water that you're boiling it with. That's your sugar syrup. All right. And also your soda water. Soda water. Okay. Temperate. Question, question. Uh, I have a question. Sorry, <laughs> I'm yeah, go, uh, ahead, go, so, ahead, go ahead. So for soda water, because like sometimes you can't find soda water. Is there any good substitute for soda water? Actually, soda water, 
right now ha hindi ako naghirap na maghanap ng soda water it 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 maybe it um the brand, the brand so okay. this one's uh, i don't know how you read it but it's creeper peepees i don't know so this is the usual Shreep, soda water Shreeps, right yeah it is Shreeps. yes like that. so this is uh, the usual one very common in all bars that you go to especially if you're ordering your mojito but you also have a local one in nature spring i think i came across a few of them um in the grocery store but they usually have flavor in it so that's, that's why i tonic water if i'm not mistaken right yeah meron din tonic water tonic water is used for your gin tonic so this one is used for your mojito talaga. Okay. Right. And of course, you'll never forget naman, your lime. Right. I've been all over the place just looking for lime. I went to the grocery store two, two, three times yesterday and today again, but I wasn't able to find lime. Kasi usually yun yung gamit natin eh. But yes. I realized you know we're in the Philippines, we have our very own lime, which is the calamansi. calamansi. So Today we're gonna use um our very own calamansi juice for our mojito. Nice. I've tried this before. It tastes really different, but it tastes good because it's more saturated in terms of flavor, citrus flavor. So if you prefer that way, you'd really like this one. So yeah, right now we're gonna make our mojito. The first thing I always enjoy That's when good. I make a mojito is that you prepare. They say prepare six or eight leaves of mojito, but for me. I am very generous with my mojito. So I usually get like a, a whole chunk of it. And then you tear them apart because tearing makes it make the juices go out. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite part is you spank them because that's how you wake them. So you okay. spank so, them so you wake them. Spanking's nice, huh? I like spanking. Spanking, spanking it so that it wakes the juices inside. So yeah. that's the very first thing that you dunk in your shaker, your mint leaf. Now the second thing is of course your favorite. I think it's your favorite, the white rum. Oh okay, the white yeah. So this so, time we will be making sixty mils of white rum. So that's a lot huh, for uh, yeah. a standard wow. drink. But a lot is a good thing. Yes. Right? Yes, definitely. So Alcohol. <laughs> so you get so you get sixty m so you get sixty ml of rum and then you also get the spanking what more can you ask for the mojito diba? Diba? what more can you ask for diba? perfect na talaga perfect, siya. perfect na ng life. <laughs> okay there we go so that's 40 mils and then now you add another two more 20 20 mils more 20 mils more diba? right. so may mga papantay sa pouring that so that's your 60 mils of rum. The way you and pour, the way you pour your drink, is it like a standard for bartending, like how you pour it like that? Because the normally they just hold the bottle, then you pour it. Yeah, yeah. The way you guys pour it, it's like part me, you put it on top. Is my that art, like is there a technique art, for yeah. it? Yeah, I mean art. Yeah. yeah. I learned that talaga. I think um I learned it, I learned it for a, a week because you really have to make sure that your hands are used to the way you hold the bottle, mm -hmm. especially the big ones and I have small hands. Maybe guys are have easier that way. But I learned to do it. Naman. So nasanay lang din yung hands ko. So yes, there is a way in how you do it. It's easier. It looks fun. It's entertaining. It is so yeah. Fun. But you can actually just pour it the way others pour it. Naman. Yung masaya lang pa. Enjoy lang. Walang problema. Ganun. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> fancy lang. So we have our 16 mils of rum never pouring in our calamansi juice this is 30 juice. mils half lang nung ano natin white rum all right so let's go there and of course our 25 mils of sugar syrup sugar syrup yeah you go for the normal sugar syrup don't go for the vanilla ones all right kasi baka sabihin niyo okay lang sa so coffee po yan so that's for the coffee <laughs> Yeah. They usually have it sold that way. So people might have na lang, baka ma confuse sila. Okay lang ba? Is there a sugar syrup that you could buy in the grocery? Parang wala naman ata. Wala pa. Wala naman. talaga. Actually like, wala. Very, like lot homemade ata lot ng sugar syrup eh. Kasi mm -hmm. again, it's yeah, very easy to make. yung flavor, no? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, now I'm dunking in a few pieces of ice. And now this is ready for shaking. All right. So again, shake, you put shake, your shake. left hand and then here. The reason also that you shake it this way is yung bottom dapat nakaharap sa audience no? 
so that if it spills, it spills on you. It doesn't spill on them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Gets. Okay. Gets. 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 Nice. We have to take Good it taking. properly. All right. I like the technique. Okay. I like the technique. Because yeah, yeah. I'm not allowed, so I like the technique. <laughs> yeah. Usually, I, I, I prefer that they must must understand. So stopper talaga ito. So ito naman, this time, you prepare your Hawthorne strainer. And then, be put ice na lang on your glass already. Kasi, oh, yeah. this, this time, you're not gonna use the same ice na gamit so, mo yeah. kanina. Okay. I have a question. But Why do you use ice yes. for cosmopolitan kanina? Um, kasi cosmopolitan, hindi siya pwedeng madilute mm, okay. ng sobra. So that's why you don't put another ice on it. But since we have 60 mils of Bacardi or white yeah. rum in our drink already here, so we don't want to like just use it all. But pwede naman, I actually prefer it like pouring it all right away. But some don't like the, the mint on their drink. Na yung mga small pieces of mint. Yes. They don't like that. So... I'd give it to them. Gagawin ko to pa sa inyo. So, yes, we're gonna settle for the mint. Ones. Now, wala sa drink. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes, yes. So, now we're gonna pour in our drink, our mojito, sa glass. So, I'm just gonna lift it and I'm gonna them. Okay. Oh, the color looks good. There you go. And. Do I have rum at home? We're gonna get. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make that you're gonna get your um, soda water. Because this time, this is the only time you're gonna pour your soda water after you shake it. Because soda, puputok yan sa loob ng shaker mo. <laughs> shake mo sa together. So, yes, hindi yes. pwede ilagay yung soda doon. And perfect siya. Dahil magbabubble yan. So, I'll show you the bubble. Ang pop. There we go, diba? May bubbles on top of it. Nice. And Ganda then for color, garnish, ah. you like get... Thanks. So, for the Beauty. garnish, I usually get a few pieces of mint. Hindi mo naman ito maiinom. So, okay lang yan. Put it on your side. So, usually, kukunin ko yung mga may stem para maghahang sa side ng drink. For it looks pretty. So, there we go. And then, since we're using calamansi, we're also gonna put a bit of the calamansi on your drink. Nice. So there we go. Looks good. Actually, hindi siya makikita ba? Here we go. That's your Great. mojito. Alright, pwede na i-chug. Pwede na i-chug. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I feel like I'm in the beach. Oh, wow. Sorry, Thank guys. you. Thank you. Thank you. Inigit mo ba kami. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. Nakakaingit yan. Okay, now, now I'm checking my stack if I have uh, if I have mojito. Ay, if I have rum. Pero so far, wala. I only have whiskey lang pala. Oh my, anyway, we only have whiskey right now. Yeah, we only have whiskey. So, checking my my man cave. <laughs> All right, so Your that is our second. I'm gonna try that mojito because I think interesting yung calamansi. I really love calamansi as a drink. So, in our next inuman, pag nakapag restock na ako ng aking mga stuff, I'm gonna try that mojito. Yes, you should. You should. It's really good. All right, now, so, so what's our next? No? Na yung... na okay, alcohol? our next. Wait, do you feel the alcohol? Na? What? Yeah, it's good. It's, Buti it's, ka pa, nafe-feel mo kami. Hindi, hindi namin nafe-feel. My God, <laughs> nakaka-stress na hindi namin siya nafe-feel at this hour. Ah. Anyway, it's I think... It's almost I, four, so okay lang. Yeah, I think it's almost four. So I think medyo kaya professional at ako since I'm a host. So I'm not gonna drink at my show. <laughs> not yet. Maybe later yeah. though. All right, so let's go to our third... Later, yes. Yes, let's go to our third okay, cocktail. Good. We're going to go to our third drink, but before that, we're just going to rinse the things that we use in a while. All right, so Miss Sef, what is our third cocktail for our E. Newman? So hi, everyone. Um, our third cocktail for th this afternoon is my favorite, Amaretto Sour. Nice. So, okay, so wait, Amaretto, question. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, Amaretto Sour, does it have egg? It does, but it only it has the white part. Yeah. All right, so yes. I'm you know, you know when it's a good, yes. 
you know when it's good when it's good amaretto sour when it has two things and two things alone than the standard ones okay. once it has white egg and also once it has whiskey mm, Kasi, okay. some amaretto sours it only has this disserono and they just dunk it all in with the lime and all pero what makes it different this one right now what makes it different than any other amaretto sour is that it has whiskey and whiskey is an element that makes it more um, dynamic in terms of taste. Hindi lang yung matamis na flavor. Mm -hmm. It has this um, uh, whiskey flavor, of course, especially if you have bourbon, because bourbon has yes. a more stronger um, whiskey taste. Mm -hmm. Smoky, exactly. So, yun. So, right now, we're gonna be making our favorite amaretto sour. The first yeah. thing that you have to do, I, uh, this is not a common thing when you shake. Um, is that you have to dry shake your your egg whites. What does dry shaking mean? Okay. So first, you prepare half an egg white. So basically, this is already, half an egg white is 20 mils. So that's our egg white over there inside our shaker. And now we're going to dry shake it using a piece of ice. So when I say a piece of ice, just a piece of ice lang talaga. Because the purpose of dry shaking your drink, your egg before you mix it with others, is that you want to emulsify the egg. So, we're gonna go in. Alright, so shake it. Alright, shake it. Emulsifying means basically... Making right. it foamy. Making foamy, it foamy. foamy. Yes, because you want that foam. You don't want the transparent egg white there. You want it in a foam texture when you're whipping it through baking. Yeah. So it's like the same thing, but through shaking. It's like so a meringue. Have, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but more of like, yeah, a meringue or a whipped cream. So after dry shaking your egg, now we're going to move on to putting your amaretto. So the amaretto... It's like your contro. It's a liqueur, but this one is specially made for amaretto sour. Uh, the mm -hmm. brand is called Bitterono, but you can also opt for other brands as well. But I prefer this one because I like looks the Looks fancy. Yeah. Looks fancy. Yeah, it's like a very bottle. fancy bottle. Yeah. And you can see how um, it's a favorite. Why it's a favorite? Because it's almost gone. Yeah. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> So you need <laughs> yeah. So you need 45 ml of your amaretto liqueur. So 45 ml. What's, what's the volume of that? The alcohol volume of the amaretto? Um, I think let me see. 28 lang. 28. Well, this is double we, your standard wine. Yeah, double the standard wine lang. Di siya parang 40 na yeah. no control. Yeah. But the, the the reason why this is still a hard drink for a reason because you're gonna add your whiskey. Yes. So I have a couple of whiskeys before that I tried. Um, but this time we're gonna use um uh, Maker's Mark. Mark, yes. It's a bourbon. That's why bourbon. I prefer bourbon on any of my amaretto sours or any whiskey sours because it has a, a smoky flavor. So we're only gonna use 15 meals lang naman. It's not that strong. So 15 mils. Oops. Oh my god, I spilled some of it. Okay. Sayang, sayang. So there you go. Sayang naman. Sayang. I'm, I'm in live. <laughs> so there we go. We have 15 mils of our bourbon. Now we're going to move on to our fresh lemon. So again, hindi ko na siya squeeze-squeeze pre-squeeze kasi I want to slice it here. You want so to be fresh. Yes. Mas masarap yung fresh talaga eh, kesa, yes. kesa over ano siya. So you're gonna need your strainer lang kasi para to avoid the seeds. Yes. There we go. Okay. So what? Uh, half a lemon? Half a lemon lang siya for the amaretto? Or are we gonna go? Uh, I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go for the full. Full lemon. Okay. Kasi it's 30 mils. Kanina, 15 meals lang yun sa, ano, sa Cosmo natin. So, that's just half a lemon. Alright. At this time, we're gonna use 
siguro tansa ko dito mas mamalaki kasi yung lemon ko at saka seedless ka so maybe just like three quarters of the lemon that I use kumal okay it also depends on the size of the lemon and the type of lemon that you're using okay there we but go but if they if but if they want it more consistent they could squeeze it and then just use the jigger right? yeah for sure for sure but the solid that's not I think Major rustic, there major rustic your approach uh, 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 with the favorite. Okay. I love it, so. <laughs> so we have, <laughs> so now we have our amaretto or bourbon is here, fresh lime juice, lemon juice, and then now we're gonna move on to the last part, which is the sugar syrup. So this is a very common thing when you're using amaretto or you're making amaretto. You always go for the sugar syrup, but for me, na man, tone down lang ako kante sa sugar syrup kasi I don't want it to be too sweet but still it has to be there yung hint ng sweetness niya so 10 mils is fine Just so if you exactly if you try this you'll understand why it works really well with this okay. mix so now we're gonna put our eyes so yun yeah. we have a huge chunk over there then again we're gonna shake it na. Hindi na dry shaking, we're gonna shake it. So you have to shake it medyo matagal than the usual para mag-mix talaga lahat kasi medyo marami yung mga um, flavor na nilagay natin dito. Yung ingredient. So, so mga two hours mo. Mga two hours. You guys, hindi ka ganun kadali mag-bartending. With all the shaking. That's why when you have a regular bartender, when you go back to your bar, be thankful for them and be grateful. It's not easy to be yeah. a bartender, guys. Appreciate them. Give them not good tips. Ah. Big tips. <laughs> ah. Once we go Mag-a back to the bar. Na ako after nito, eh. Why not? Parang, yeah, pwede naman. Bagay naman. Diba? So why not? Sige, push natin yan once yeah. everything settles down. Yeah, ako now paano, we're gonna... Pang college bartending na ako eh. Alam mo, yung, oh bro, chug, chug. Puro ganun lang. Chug! O mga, mga five seconds. Pang lang oh, pala eh. Yung mga drinks na pang five seconds lang. Akto, ano na yun agad? Kilo right. na agad afterwards. So now, yes. we just finish shaking it. And you'll know why you really need to shake it well. Kasi, it, it's really beautiful to see an amaretto sauce shake well. With a glass of ice already. So now we're gonna pour our amaretto part with our Hawthorne strainer. So let's pour it in. So you'll see the foam on top of it. Beautiful. Nice. There we go. And of course, an amaretto part, kailangan pa rin siya ng, am- ng cherry on top. Because usually, that's why it's a signature drink for cherries on top. Um, one of the famous cocktails that has cherries on top is, of course, our amaretto. So this one has the stem, so I usually just take it out before I serve it. Nice. All right, amaretto are in. Wow, it's like a bond, it's like a bond cocktail, like James There we bond go. Cocktail. Oh my God, na hulud na yung ano. Okay. Na natin. So we're just gonna do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, nice. There's the FOMO. That's the egg white technically. Yeah. So nice. it's really pretty. It's really it looks really good. It's very presentable. And yes, guys, if you're thinking uh, if you're thinking the raw egg, yes, it's raw egg, right? Yes, it's raw egg. But it's cooked naman because of the alcohol. So, yeah, technically, yung alco- I think the science behind it naluluto naman siya in terms of alcohol. So, you don't have yeah. to worry about salmonella. I hope I'm right, okay? <laughs> Sana wala magkakas salmonella ko ito din. But yung ano talaga, white, white egg naman, even in baking, you don't really have to cook it. Kasi, I think the friction with your you you mixing it, even yung pagmagawa ka ng mirang, you don't cook it. Eh. You just put it in your whipping device get in the grill it and they just put it there on top that we're gonna it's fine i think it's it's healthy it's to fine. it's even healthy to eat raw egg well, it's, well, it's rocky si rocky yeah that's protein that's protein yeah, protein so, so yeah. yeah but yeah if ever lang na ano again uh disclaimer lang if ever lang na ano sinabi namin with the alcohol na kukok siya ng konti but we're not 100 percent sure so go with your own risk but so far okay naman yun. i don't think it's yeah. gonna 
Yeah. You can like, definitely use it talaga. Yes, so, so, so there, there are um so our three drinks na nakakainggit. So we've got the <laughs> Cosmopolitan, we've got my favorite, the Mojito, and Miss F's favorite, the uh, Amaretto Sour. All right, so yeah. I hope they learned a lot from this. I, I mean, personally, me, I learned a lot, and I hope our viewers learned a lot. Now, uh, I'm excited to actually try this recipes out. Is there a way that we could see this recipe on your uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, or where can our blog of found fl- uh, blog of fam follow you and see more of you? Um, so you can just follow me at Tessa Parente in my Instagram. I only share it on Instagram because I feel like it's a safe space to share alcoholic drinks and just having fun. But you know what? Um, uh, just hit me a message if you guys really want to learn how to make these drinks at home. I'd be happy to help you. All right. So thank you for that. And yes, I'll do follow and hit you up later for, for the other drinks that maybe I could learn from that. And guys, maybe a margarita. It. Yeah, I, no, oh yeah, margarita. What else? Do we have any tequila base? Pa? Like, I want a strong tequila base, but I don't like a shot. I want a, ma- I want a cocktail, not a shot. Mo- mostly, you can make a tequila daiquiri if you want. The daiquiri is tequila a very daiquiri. strong, oh yeah. Usually, it's a very straightforward drink with just citrus and then your main spirit. So, your main spirit can either be your vodka, your rum, or your tequila if you prefer that way. I think those trees are good. Oh. Vodka, rum, and tequila all together. I think that's nice for a duck. Yes. For yes that anyway, yeah, that would be a different program again. Maybe that's like uh, in E, Newman Part 2 part with two. more alcohol. Joke. <laughs> title, right? Super alcohol, E, Newman. Anyway. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Miss F, for your, giving us your time and sharing your knowledge in terms of cocktail making. So thank you so much. I'm going to clap my hand. I hope people are clapping their hands too. So there, I learned a thank lot you. and I'm, I'm so stoked and I'm looking forward to trying that out. So thank you so much, Miss F. And to all our viewers, well, that's it for our Tutorial Tuesdays. Hope you guys enjoyed this and just follow us on Blogapalooza and you can see more of our other Tutorial Tuesdays. So hopefully soon we'll have more of interesting hobbies or interesting skills that we could actually teach you here on Tutorial Tuesday. Once again, my name is Gio Kawachi. Stay safe, guys. Stay well. Stay, well, uh, stay safe and well. And I'll see you guys soon. All right? Bye, Blago fam. Bye. Peace out. Thank you.